hello big welcome warm welcome back or welcome to my channel um i'm very excited because if you haven't seen the other video i explained all about my new book that just came out solotia and um, if you want to learn more about that there i will link the video today's video is going to be reading the full first chapter so you can kind of get the vibe chapter one hazel he has blood on his hands the blood of the innocent lots of it and now he's searching for more i already knew what he was looking for before he stumbled his way down to the shoreline the stench of him polluted the air like oil in the ocean He's drunk, which makes sense, because no one in their right mind would come down here at night, in the dark, alone. My grip tightened on the edge of the rock as I was- sorry. My grip tightened on the edge of the rock I was hiding behind. My glare never strained from him as he picked up each clam and studied their weights and sizes. This is far from the first time they've tried to steal the clam's pearls. It disgusts me. The pirates disgust me. How they would harm innocent organisms taking their lives in exchange for a shiny little ball they one day decided held value. But not actual value, no. A forced value to boost their moods and egos. When are they going to realize that they keep returning for more because happiness at the expense of others is not true happiness? It doesn't last. It's like the waves that desperately reach up for the sand's surface but never manage to get there. Before he could settle on one of his victims, I parted my lips and began to sing a soft, lulling tune. My melodic voice twisting, twisted through the air like tendrils that entered his ears and pulled all of his attention towards me, towards the side of the shore that was bathed in shadow. It was all over for him the moment he took that first step forward. What I'm about to do doesn't make me happy. It doesn't make any of us happy. This wasn't our choice. This wasn't how we planned to spend the rest of our lives. The pirate shook his head and grabbed at his scraggly gray head of hair with a glimpse of fear in his clouded eyes, the last glimpse of himself that would ever make an appearance again. They are the ones who keep deciding to bother us and our home. They are the ones who keep deciding to stir up trouble in our seas. He took another step, unable to clear the mists of my song from his mind, and then another step as the mist spread across his neck, and another as it traveled down his entire body. We've been forced into teaching the pirates the prices they must pay for the empty treasures they take. The old man completely succumbed to the echoey rhythm as he knelt down in front of me and stretched out his shaky fingers towards a sparkling glare of moonlight that reflected off of the surface of the waters. His expression remained dead as I wrapped my hand around his bony wrist. My skin suctioned to his, but assuring that he wouldn't be able to get loose from my grasp when I yanked him under. That price is their lives. So yeah, again, it has extremely short chapters, so that's another thing. I forgot to mention that in the last video, it has extremely short chapters. If you are interested, you can go on Amazon and search up Celosia by Pana Roach and this cover will pop up. Okay, I said this in the last video, but in case you didn't watch that, I'm here for you. Of course, it is published right now for full price at $2.99. But, I know it's a while away, but if you wait until December, I'm going to have a huge Christmas sale where all of my books, Fitharia, Runeisht, and Celosia, are all going to be dropped from $2.99 to on sale for just $0.99 cents each. Um, so that will save you from buying Celosia or any other ones for full price. And that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you so much. And thank you so much for being here. And I cannot wait to see you on the next video where I'm either going to be explaining something else about my books or I'm going to be publishing another book. I'm so excited.